Here's just a quick discussion on what we mean by the word equilibrium in a physics course. So part of it might be a little surprising. So equilibrium means we're looking at a system or a, a particle with constant velocity. Um, that includes zero velocity, which is the most typical type of equilibrium problem, but a constant non-zero velocity also counts. All right, what this means is A is zero, and what that means is that the net force, I guess I'll write this as a vector equation, the net force is equal to zero on the object that we're studying. So when forces are balanced, that's what we mean by equilibrium. So a quick example of this, a box is just sitting on the floor, not moving at all. That's an equilibrium. And if you wanted to look at a force analysis, just sort of generically, gravity pulls down, normal force pushes up, and N is equal to mg. And I don't have any applied forces horizontally, or if I do, they're balanced. Um, I could also have a box sliding at a constant speed. And it's another type of equilibrium problem. So you could accomplish this by having an applied force off to the right. Just trying to show a case where this typically would come up as a problem. And maybe the kinetic friction force exactly balances it. And in the y direction, of course, I have the weight down and normal force up. Those also balanced. So if, I, if my applied force to the right was equal to the static or the kinetic friction force and n is equal to mg, I end up with a net force of zero and I can have this thing just sliding along at a constant velocity, which I should put in the picture, I suppose. All right. Another typical example we see is an object suspended by strings, and then you have to work out some trigonometry to figure out the tension in the strings. So here's another typical equilibrium problem. Again, that's the case where the constant velocity is zero. Everything is just stationary, so all the forces have to be balanced. And then here's one that's a little bit less intuitive. If you have a skydiver, there's the parachute, falling at terminal velocity. So what that means is that their speed has become so high that the force of the air pushing up on them gets to the point that it balances the force of gravity downward, uh, their, their velocity levels off to a constant, and that is actually an equilibrium problem. So in that case, I would have the force of gravity down and a drag force up. And when you're at terminal velocity, the drag force has balanced the force of gravity, and you no longer accelerate. 